Good afternoon. We're here at IFPAC 2009 with Emil Churchak, Gary Ritchie, and myself, Jack Carroll, and we're talking with Dr. Bruce Davis, formerly of AstraZeneca, and now uh, an established consultant uh, dealing with aspects of QBT, PAT, and PQLI, especially PQLI. So to address that topic, let me turn things over to Gary Ritchie. Gary? Thank you, Jack. Bruce, it's good to see you. Good to see you as well, Jack. Um, I um, believe, and I, as many do, that PQLI is going to be the next big thing in pharma. Um, what's your expectations of uh, some of the work you're doing with uh, at ISPE um, with respect to um, the QBD and PAT uh, aspects of, of, of the initiative? Well, we've got very high expectations. We know we've got a lot of work on to deliver on this, and we know that we've done a lot of work so far. Uh, but we know that the whole way in which we're going to move this forward, which is actually dealing with ICH uh, delivery, what ICH Q8, Q9 and Q10 means in practice is something that's important to this industry and something we believe as a group of volunteers in ISPE that we can actually contribute by providing some documentation and some information that will benefit both the industry and the regulators. I see. Um, where do you think this is going to head uh, stateside as well as globally? Uh, we are very well aware that ICH covers the three regions of Japan, Europe and the US in terms of the, uh, those guidelines and we're very conscious that what we're trying to do is to be applicable globally or certainly applicable in the ICH regions. So we recognize that. We clearly have to start in certain places. So we've done some work in the US, so we've done some um, uh, some consultations and we've actually had some conferences and I've spoken in various places uh, in Japan and in Europe and we've run conferences in, um, in Europe as well and from those conferences we're then intending to get information from people develop ideas because there's no one way of doing this there's lots of different ways and we're then going to actually start to uh, turn that into some documents that will be useful Jack, you had an interesting question uh Really, for, for our readers, and uh, actually yeah. for, for, for myself, um, I mentioned uh, off-camera with you a little while ago that, uh, that I had asked about PAT as, uh, yeah. as a stepping stone into QBD, yeah. and you uh, alluded to the fact that PAT is basically a toolbox, yeah. and the QBD yeah. is much more of a program. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you elaborate maybe a hierarchy for us for how that then flows into, uh, in, into, into the next levels? Okay. I think QBD is the higher level one, as I say, because it's about product and process development, and it's also about thinking about what happens at development right through manufacturing and right through to continual improvement as per the um, ICH guidance. Now, the PAT tools are very much different kinds of tools that can be used uh, using multivariate analysis and things like this to actually understand and measure what is going on in a process to enable it to be either fed back or fed forward so one can start to work towards having um, improved product quality. Well then, a follow-up question. Um, because you're getting involved with a life cycle initiative, is that a mindset change for the industry and the regulators? Um, I'm not sure it's a mindset. We've always had a life cycle in this industry, but the clarity about linking right from beginning to end at the start, if you like, is, is something a little bit different. And thinking about the way we have continual improvement right through to the end, thinking about that at the beginning, that I think is a, is a change. Okay. Jack, um, at the end of the day, though, the idea that uh, ICH and QBD uh, want, to, want to accomplish is to enhance uh, process understanding. Ultimately, where is PQLI going to uh, end up in assisting the, the manufacturers in achieving process understanding? Okay. I think it's going to assist in the sense it will actually start to put in place some practical outputs. Because at the moment, people are saying, what does QBD mean? What does ICHQ9, Q10 mean in practice? And so it will intend to put documents and things in practice that people can use to actually start to develop products and actually start to manufacture products. Um, quite what form those documents will take. There'll be guidance documents, mm -hmm. and they will not be have-tos. There'll be, this is best practice that may have uh, come from an accumulation of different companies' expertise and experience. Well, I think uh, we're looking forward to an exciting uh, finish for the PQLI, and we look forward to seeing uh, you perhaps next year at IFPEC when uh, perhaps we'll be hearing you roll out okay. uh, some of these best practices. I want to thank you okay. for your thank time. Thank you very much. Uh, the conference to run here. Okay. Thanks, very much, well. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.